what's going on everybody ginger on wheels here again i want to do a quick video on the differences between road and off-road tires because i get asked the question a lot hey ginger i'm about to pre-order a scooter and i don't know whether i should get the road or the off-road tires what do you think so if you've ever been curious about which kind of tire is better for your situation or if you're currently shopping for a scooter and you're just not sure just stay tuned for this quick video and you can get a list of pros and cons for each type of tire So something you're probably curious about before we get too into the video is if I actually have ridden with the off-road and the road tires and the answer is yes. The first Wolf Warrior I got, I put about 100 miles on it. I had off-road tires on it. And in retrospect, I probably wore those tires down pretty well. But when the scooter broke and Fluid Freeride swapped me out with a new one, they only had the road tires in stock. So I took that one with the exception that they gave me a pair of off-road tires to later mount onto it. So I wore down those street tires all the way and just mounted on the off-road tires again uh, a couple weeks ago down at RevRides. By the way, if you're in the Seattle Portland area, I highly recommend checking out RevRides. It's like a playground for anyone that likes PEVs. They've got unicycles and little bikes and the whole Zero lineup and everyone there is really nice. I wish it wasn't so far from my house because it's definitely a fun place to hang out. So before we get started and we get into all the categories like price and durability and longevity, I want to play a little game. It's going to be called Guess the Tire. I'm going to show you a clip and then you guess whether or not I had the off-road tires on the scooter or the road tires. Sound good? Okay, so here's a clip. Now what do you think? Road tires or off-road tires? If you guess the off-road tires, you'd be wrong. All right, let's do another one. Yep, those are the road tires again. Okay, let's try one more. Yeah, you guessed it, road tires again. That's right, every single video I've published on the Wolf Warrior on my YouTube channel, except for the latest one, was done with the road tires on there, including the bike jumps. So when I say the road tires are gonna be perfect for about 90% of people, that's why. They perform fine off-road. They do great in most conditions. There's really only one condition in which the off-road tires have a serious advantage, and that is mud or wet leaves. If you're plowing through mud on the road tires, the tires will just completely free spin like you're on ice or something. It's not even feasible. And if you catch yourself off-road and you accelerate while turning and you have the road tires on, the scooter will just completely slip out from under you. The scooter goes that way and you go that way. All right, so let's get into the categories. How about price? This video will translate over to any scooter that has road or off-road tire options, but the things that I'm telling you about how many miles you're gonna get and how expensive they are, those are gonna be exclusive to the Wolf because that's the scooter that I'm on and that's the scooter that I always talk about. So the road tires and the off-road tires are about $99 for a set. Really doesn't matter which one you go for. What you should be looking for when you buy a set of tires is if the person selling them to you is willing to put them on your scooter for you. Because the biggest headache by far is mounting the tires on the rim. If you have a split rim scooter, like a Zero, I think the Zero um, 10X has split rims, it's not too difficult to change the tire. You just pull the tire off, pull the rim apart, and slip the new tire on. But if you don't have split rims, getting tires that are this thick and this small of diameter over a rim at all are, is a new challenge to the world in itself. It's crazy. So in case you're unaware or haven't seen pictures, this is what an off-road tire looks like. It's got knoblies all over it, and this piece of rubber right here is really smooth. But these knobs will dig into the dirt as you accelerate. So much better for off-roading and digging into wet leaves really the street tires are the same diameter same width the only difference is that they're smooth and they have a water wicking design on them so if you're riding through water it sort of like pushes the water through the tread of the tire and out to the side which is nice mm. 
So I just did some high speed runs with these off-road tires, as you heard, and they are mushy. This compound is just so soft. I can actually smell the burning rubber. Yeah, the tires are actually hot. The top of these little knobs. Wow. There's so much friction if you have the off-road tires and you're going fast. I wonder if you can see that. These tires probably have mm, 50 miles on them, maybe, maybe 75. And the knob right here is already starting to wear down pretty significantly. Interesting, right? Sick scooter. So I'm pretty sure I just inspired the next generation of scooters right there. We'll see. Okay, so let's get to the biggest difference between the off-road tires and the road tires. And that is longevity. With the road tires, a normal use, person who uses the dual motors quite frequently and might spin the front tire occasionally, you'll get about 1,500 or 1,000 miles out of the front tire. And that's significantly shorter than the rear tire just because of how much it spins. The rear tire, I imagine you could get about 2,000 out of it, but I swapped both of mine out when the front tire wore down. The off-road tires, on the other hand, you're only gonna get about 500 miles. If you're riding your scooter every day, going pretty quick over pavement, this is kind of why I'm going this slow in this video, because I don't normally ride on the road. And when I do, I usually have the street tires. But when I have the off-road tires on, I know they're only gonna last 500 miles. And the faster I go on the pavement, the shorter that lifespan is. It's worth noting though that I'm 190 pounds or so and the scooter is 100 pounds or 105, I think I weighed it once. But this is with a 300 pound scooter. That's the life you're gonna get out of these tires. These are three and a half inch wide tires. But if your scooter is lighter than this, like a 010, you probably get a few more miles out of the off-road ones. So anyway, to wrap up, given the fact that you can off-road with the road tires perfectly fine, and the only advantage of having an off-road tire over the road tire is strictly an off-road terrain. I would argue that most people do not need off-road tires. It's way overkill. You're in oncoming traffic with your dog in a stroller. <laughs> if you live in an area that's a lot of moss on the ground, or you get snow, you're definitely going to want the off-road tires. Believe it or not, you can ride the scooter in the snow, but you're definitely going to want the off-road tires. No doubt in my mind. I tried it with the street tires and it was like trying to ride the scooter on an ice rink. Borderline impossible. If you're on conditions like this, the difference between off-road and road tires are gonna be very negligible. You might get a little more front tire spin, but all you have to do is lean forward to account for that. I've ridden up this trail dozens of times on the off-road and the road tires. And I can tell you it's a pretty similar feeling. The only difference is the amount of front tire spin you get if you give it all the throttle right at once. If you ease into the throttle though, it's not a big deal. I should definitely say though, before I go, if you're the kind of person who bought their scooter to take up into the mountains and go off-roading, don't let my don't let my narrative persuade you. You're definitely the type of person that needs the off-road tires. If you're gonna have your wolf off of pavement for more than 50% of the time that you own it, definitely get the off-road tires. You're gonna encounter mud. That's just an inevitable situation when you're off-road. And when you do, it is so fun to blast through it on the off-road tires, like this. All right, to give you a good example of the road noise with the off-road tires, I'm gonna go top speed on the wolf real quick, and you can listen. Sound good? You hear how my car kind of sounds like a motorcycle at 10,000 RPMs? That would be because the tires are probably at 10,000 RPMs.
was an adrenaline rush, for sure. Oh. All right, so that's what the scooter sounds like with off-road tires. Now I can show you some clips of me doing that same road with road tires. And all you can hear is the whistle of the wind in between my forks. If you have any questions about your specific situation and you're curious about off-road or road tires, this is the video to comment on. Ask away, ask all your questions. But before you ask, read through the comments and make sure nobody's asked it before. I wanna turn the comment section of this video into like an educational piece where everyone can give their two cents. So I don't wanna see any comment bashing though. Everyone's allowed to have their own opinion. But let us know if you own a scooter with dual drive and you have road or the off-road tires, let us know which one you picked and why. Do you wish that you had the road tires or do you like having the off-road tires on your scooter? I personally kind of like the noise that it makes. When you get going fast and the tires get loud, I think it's kind of cool. It sounds like a motorcycle or something. But if you're going through a quiet little neighborhood, that might piss a lot of people off. Well, it's getting late. Shadows are getting long. I'm getting tired. GoPro battery is low. So I think I'm going to roll out, you guys. And now you're out of time.